So Tesla just made a video with a new breakthrough in AI learning with their robots showing off multiple tasks that they have learned from just watching a video of human doing it. I don't think people understand how profound the pace of learning is going to be going forward. AGI and robots are truly coming in at an ever accelerating pace, changing the world as we know it, but at the same time making an insane opportunity. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So Tesla was not kidding when they said more to come soon about their Optimus robot. Because people watching the insanely cool video of Optimus dancing, where some said it was useless, who wants a robot that can dance, but the guys missed the point. This is just to show the robot's agility, which is now very very good. They need to teach the robot how to move correctly and don't lose its balance and all that stuff. But Tesla did show a new video of what the guys that didn't get the point of the dancing video, but wanted to see Optimus do useful task. And oh boy, did they deliver and it did much more than just dance. Tesla's Optimus X account shared this very cool video showing robots doing a huge amount of task that it had learned by watching videos of humans doing it. And Milan from Tesla shared some very cool information about Tesla's significant advancement in the development of Optimus, where it can now learn tasks directly from internet videos of humans, transitioning from third person to first person perspective, which accelerates the learning process compared to traditional tailor operating method, like Milan wrote. One of our goals is to have Optimus learn straight from internet videos of human doing tasks. Those are often third person views captured by random cameras, etc. We recently had a significant breakthrough along the journey and can now transform a big chunk of the learning directly from human videos to the bot's first person views for now. This allows us to bootstrap new tasks much faster compared to tailor operated bot data alone, heavier operationally. Many new skills are emerging through this process, are called for via natural language, voice and text, and are running by single neural network on the bots multitasking. Next, expand to third person video transfer, aka random internet, and push reliability via self play, RL, in real and or synthetic worlds. So this breakthrough involved using a single neural network to execute multiple tasks introduced via natural language by text and voice. So they can just talk to the robot now and make it do tasks, so that's very cool to hear. So sounds like Croc large language model is already integrated into the bot as is can understand human language. And they can just talk to the bot and they are enhancing the robot's multitasking capabilities and operational efficiencies and is part of a broader strategy to improve reliability through self play in real and simulated environments. This is so cool. I don't think people get just how fast this will be able to scale when we have a self play and RL because it's only first person view for now, but that will change and the robot will learn new tasks from just watching YouTube videos. Just like Tesla gave their full self driving neural network videos from China from the internet to teach it about the road signs and rules in the country. And as Elon also explained in this interview with CNBC. Uh, yes, it's going to take a lot of compute resources, um, and it'll take it'll take time. I think th there's certain uh, threshold breakthroughs that that uh, we think we can achieve, uh, where if um, if Optimus can can watch videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos or how-to videos or whatever, and based on that video, just like a human can, uh, learn how to do that thing, then you 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 really have uh, task extensibility that is dramatic. 
because then it, it, it can learn anything very quickly. Um, so I, I think we'll I think we'll get there in the next. We're week. not there yet, though. We're not there you're, yet. You're relying on a on a significant uptick in terms of of learning yeah, yeah. and training. Yeah, no, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm calling it a, a very significant threshold would be Understood. the ability to learn from watching a video. Just, so, right. Uh, but at the point As which, opposed to watching a human, right? Which is, or having well, a human sort of train it right now with a yeah, task. I mean, it, right, right now we're really, we're, we're training Optimus to do like primitive tasks where a human in a kind of a, what's called a mocap suit uh, is, uh, and, and, and sort of cameras on the head is, uh, moving in the way that the robot would move to, say, pick up an object or uh, open a door or the basic tasks, throw a ball, um, dance. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we need to, to that, that, I think that's needed to, to, to sort of bootstrap the intelligence so you can have the basic functions. Then uh, where I think it gets very interesting uh, and, and very much like humans is that um, you, you, you want the robot to self-play. Right. So you say, how does a child learn? Well, a child has toys, and a child plays with the toys, plays with the blocks, you know, at some point figures how to put the triangle in the triangle hole and the circle in the circle hole by, by doing it over and over again. And this the self-play. Once you have a lot of robots, uh, you can do this self-play, which is that you just put the robot in a room with toys mm -hmm. and, and have the robot, play, literally have the robot play with toys. And it will learn. Yeah. And, and you have to have to have a reward function. Say like, okay, uh, you're, the goal of the robot is to put, you know, that classic child's toy. You put the circle in the circle hole, the square right. in the square hole, the triangle in the triangle hole, and keep doing it until it works. And the reward function is succeeding. And there are no advances needed to accomplish that now. I mean, no advances in AI or com or just compute and things of that nature that can happen. Uh, there are some advances needed, but I don't think these are insurmountable. I think we, I think we can. We can, I think we can solve these things in right. the next few years. So Tesla has already made this possible with first-person view, of course. So they are already halfway there to get it to third-person view to just show a normal random video of a human doing stuff and can just show that video to the neural network and the neural network will train that in simulation or with the robot in real life. So they can just show the robot millions of YouTube videos of people doing stuff and the neural network can train it over and over again in simulation and then transfer it to real life and try it out and very quickly learn new task. So instead of putting the robot in a room with a child's toy as Elon is talking about here, they can also put it in a room that is made into a kitchen with all the tools and equipment there are typically in a kitchen and have it self-play in the kitchen, giving it a task of finding the milk and pouring a glass or using the microwave or more complicated task and let it learn through its mistake with RL. And as you can see, these tasks are all done by the second gen robot. So this is not even the third gen robot that will do this much, much better. And we can see it can do a variety of tasks from cooking, cleaning desktop, iron shirts, taking out the garbage, closing a curtain, using a vacuum to clean the floor, using a microwave oven, opening a cabin, cleaning a whiteboard, and much, much more. All of these tasks was learned directly from human beings videos and then told what to do like open the cabinet with voice so the optimus robot will quickly learn the tasks that are needed to be useful at a home as well this will no doubt be the last thing the tester will sell the robot to like private home owners but we can see the robot can quickly learn these tasks and will get a very good general understanding of the world around it and how to do many different tasks and if there is something that you want wanted to do that it hasn't seen before and don't understand the task at hand, you can simply just show it the task and it can replicate it. Just like they show us in the video, that is actually how they learned all of these tasks, just a first person viewer for now, but soon any kind of video input and even a real human showing it off in the real world. So that is very cool and a big breakthrough for not just learning new tasks faster, but also how it will be able to learn from future owners as well. Just show the robot what you wanted to do and it does it. 
and Mutasa that also works at Tesla Optimus Robot also wrote, I want to make clear how crazy impressive this result is. We can now do biomanual, so using both hands, dexterior, so being nimble, precise and coordinated, manipulation across a wide range of tasks with barely any data of these skills coming from Tiller operation. As we know, Tillop does not scale, but it turns out human video does. This means Optimus can rapidly pick up new skills with significant less effort than before. What's next? You guessed it, RL. Who would have guessed that humanoids are good for learning from humans? And RL, just to be sure that everyone knows, is of course reinforced learning. So this is truly a big deal, as this means the learning of the robots will be able to scale fast. We are only seeing the beginning of what's to come. So Tesla has been designing this robot with production in mind, making sure the robot is easy and fast to manufacture so that they can scale production to millions of bots a year. Elon again confirmed in his interview with CNBC that Tesla is aiming for 1 million robots in 2030. So not in total, but being produced in 2030. That might be optimistic, but even if they only get half the way there, they would produce 500,000 robots in 2030. That would still be amazing. And they have thought about scale in the production with the design of the robot. They have been working on building a supply chain already for the scale of the robot as well. And now they have also solved the learning capability for scale. So Tesla is really getting all the pieces together and has moved one step closer to learn directly from any video, for now, first person view, but that should change rapidly as well. As Joe also wrote on X, it's funny that we have these videos out and people still don't get it. Same with AI and AGI. It's time to think about the age of AGI because it's here and it's going to be an enormous shit show and insane opportunity. Yes, if we look back, just to remember that three years ago, Tesla didn't even have a robot. Now they have one that learns with reinforced learning and can already do multiple tasks. And don't forget, it was only two years ago that we saw this disturbing video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. And everyone laughed and thought AI creating anything realistic was decades out in the future. And today we are seeing videos like these that have just dropped. And that includes sound as well. Just check these examples out. A wild, untamed mite. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. The microfilm is in your ticket. They're watching the north exit. Use the service tunnel. According to this old sea chart, the lost island isn't myth. We must prepare an expedition immediately. AI is improving at an ever accelerating pace and Tesla's AI brain and robots are now also increasing its pace of learning rapidly. Just try to imagine where we will be in another three years from now. Just take a look at this video from this doctor sharing that he is about to lose his job. So I'm about to lose my job. And this is scary because I developed a skill over 20 years. I just, boom, look at an x-ray and say, oh, here we go. We have uh, right middle lobe pneumonia, maybe left upper lobe consolidation. Patient is very sick. She has bilateral pneumonia. We need to take care of her. But here comes AI, and of course, they pick it up in a second. So now, you don't need professional eyes to look at these x-rays. You just have artificial intelligence, and they picked up the pneumonia. So uh, I'm going to be applying to McDonald's soon. I hope they have some openings. Yes, AI and robots are going to take over so many jobs. And the funny thing is that he will probably not be able to get a job at McDonald's as an Optimus robot is down there flipping burgers, <laughs> being forever polite to the customers. So we are truly entering a new era of AI and robotics. It will change our world and society as we know it. 
It is kind of scary to try to look out in the future today, as we can no longer predict what will happen because of AI. But on the other hand, it's also going to be probably the biggest opportunity we have ever and will ever see. We don't need to understand what is coming or being able to predict it precisely. We just need to know that Tesla is going to be a big player in that game, no matter what it will look like. And it will probably come faster than we think. And that it will probably be the biggest opportunity in our lifetime. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.